This is Doug Varenberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today we're going to talk about some really cool things where all this cool technology is coming together with the Lake Master, the Hummingbird, and the Minn Kota. And what we're going to talk about is finding a piece of structure and how to actually get back on it. There is some really cool products like the new Hummingbird GPS with heading sensor that allows you pinpoint accuracy to know exactly which direction the boat is pointed and we're going to be able to use it and hopefully help you get rid of the marker buoys. Uh, it's really cool technology. Uh, it really helps when you take the side imaging and you find stuff off the side and be able to go to the front and get right back on top of it. So let's get uh, finding some stuff here and we will show you exactly how to help you get back on that structure. Now one of the first things we need to do is this is our Lake Master map of Truman Lake here in Missouri and there's some cool features that uh, allows you to do some really neat stuff and we're going to zoom in here and what we're going to do is we've got the ability to shade two different depths and as we go here we hit menu twice we come over to our chart tab you come up push the up button that'll make it quicker to get to the bottom uh, we've got a shallow water highlight here that is our red and we've got it set for three but watch if I change it to five it actually shades everything from the bank out to five foot shallow water highlight is going to be your red and it's going to be from the bank out so you can use that and you can run it out to 30 foot like if you were trying to find humps or something but the really cool one is this depth range highlight if we set it to zero, our highlight range, we can see that we've got a green line here. Now, if you go add one, it'll add a foot to each side of that. So we're at 10, we're gonna go nine to 11. I like to run about two on it because that gives me a good range, plus or minus two. We're gonna look for a little deeper today. We're gonna look for some trees. We'll go 11, so we're gonna cover from nine to 13. But look at this band it shows where we can where we can search for. And we're just going to spin around here because there's some trees out here. And we're going to try to find something on side imaging and then go back and get on it with our trolley motor. And the first thing we got to do is we're in side imaging or our switch fire 2D with our mapping. If I hit view, we will start looking for side imaging and one of the things here with Humminbird is you can split your position. You can split it to the right where you've got just a little sliver of map like I got or you can s select more mapping less of what you want. For side imaging I like the most side imaging I can get and the least amount of mapping. I'm just going to use it to basically look for where I'm at, what I've got coming ahead and I want to see the most with side imaging. And I've got it on a hundred foot right and left. And if you look here, we're finding a little bit of stuff, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right up there and we're gonna pick us out. We're gonna get that big tree on side imaging and then we're going to get back on it with our trolling motor and use the trolling motor to guide us there and the GPS to get us back on the exact spot. Now here we are, we're coming along this edge of this point here that's got all these big trees on it. And we're going to use an above ground, below ground visual. You can see our side imaging. I've got it a little bit hot here, so I'm going to slip over here to and just bump it down just a hair so we can pick up this tree. And I'm just going to back out just a hair here. We're not as focused on seeing what's on side imaging today but help you find what you're, how to get back on the stuff you do find inside imaging. And you can see we've got some trees and stuff. We've got our little small trees here, but this big tree right here is really gonna be easy. Boom, right there. See it? Now what you'll do is you'll take your cursor and you'll go right to that tree. And we're going to hit mark. And that's going to put a waypoint right on that tree there. Now we're going to get out here in the open. And I'm going to let the trolling motor show me how to get back to this number 
748. That's our waypoint we're looking for. The 748 right here on that edge, right in that highlight. If we go to GPS, we can see it right here. We can zoom in. We can zoom in. 748's right here in the green. That's in our target range. And we're going to use all my technology. Side imaging. 360. We'll use 360 probably on this to show exactly where that's at. iPilot connected. This is cool stuff. Now one thing what we could do is we could use this we could set a navigation line which we can go to there and we can hit go to and it's going with iPilot it's going to tell us to how to go there we can hit continuous and it's going to drive our boat straight there but not everybody's going to have the, the luxury of having iPilot link but that's one of the really cool things about it is we can actually drive the boat exactly to the waypoint we want to go to and if you look, we are dry, the, the boat is steering itself to get to that point there. It's getting itself back online to get exactly to that point with the wind conditions. We can bump up the speed a little bit. And bingo, it's headed right to it with the hummingbird accuracy of their GPS with the heading sensor. And it'll run that boat right into that tree if we wanted to. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is try to manually do it. So I'm going to hit continue. So I'm going to stop it there. We're going to come over and hit menu. We're going to cancel our iPilot navigation. What we want to do... is we're going to hit continuous and we're just going to go out here and we want to get back to it now that I see where the boat position is I need to go to the right so I'm going to steer the boat and you'll watch the boat icon here is going to start steering towards that the heading line is right there in front. It's coming around. We'll zoom in here. Oh, we went too far to the left. I'm not watching where the tree is. And right there's our tree. We had our casting ring, which shows us how far that is. If we wanted to stay off it and cast, we could look at it. We can hit the menu here. And we can come over to our GPS, come down to casting rings. We're at 40 foot off from it. So if we want to move that down, let's say, to 20 foot, so we can stay and cast from it. That is one of the things you can do. Now here's another feature that you can use. So we're going to adjust our trolling motor to where we're straight, where we're headed towards that tree. We're going to hit the autopilot feature, which puts on a range line there, telling us which direction we're headed. Now we're headed straight towards that. We can use our trolling motor to navigate us. We can use our trolling motor to navigate us towards it. And we'll use 360 imaging and we'll see it pop up here, that same tree. Look at them fish. Guy needs to be fishing that. Right here is our tree. Mm. 
use the shadow from. Bingo, right there. Right there is our tree. Right here on top of our GPS waypoint. There's our big tree. There's our thing. We can actually go to menu. And we can go to accessories and we can come down here to 360 sonar settings. And the bottom one, navigation is on. It'll be right there the next time it comes by. Watch this when it refreshes. Ding, ding, ding. Yep, right here's our tree, and there's our waypoint with 360 imaging and GPS mapping. We were dead on there. Isn't that amazing with the Humminbird and the Minn Kota and the Lake Master? When you bring all this together and GPS mapping, how much you can help find exactly that stuff back. And using that, imp that information can help you catch more fish. I hope you enjoyed this set of tips and tricks and the cool features that the Minn Kota, Humminbird, and Lake Master engineers make it so much easier for us to go out here and catch fish and enjoy our time on the water. Thank you and tune in to another set of tips and tricks.